Welcome back in everyone. We are going to take a look at the playoff picture for next week. That's right, but first we're going to hand out our helmet stickers for week 10 of Football Friday. Eve, who do you got this week? All right. Giving your helmet sticker to. I am going first this week. I am giving my helmet sticker to the Lamar Raiders for their playoff win today. It was a very nice win for the Raiders. Completely shut out Magnolia Heights in the second half. So congratulations to Lamar for advancing to the second round of the playoffs. Very Patrick, nice. Patrick, who are you going to take nice. this week? Very nice. Good win for Coach Land and the Raiders. I'm giving mine to the UC Yes, Trailblazers, very impressive game, 44 to nothing. Clinch a playoff berth with their homecoming win over uh, the Panthers tonight. So my helmet sticker goes to the UCS Trailblazers. Congratulations on the win. Now we're quickly going to run through what the playoff action looks like for next weekend. In second round of MAIS action, Newton County is going to host, Newton County Academy is going to host Prentice Christian. Lamar is going to travel to Kapaya Academy next week. And in MHSAA, 1A, Knox Pater is on the road for first round against Sacred Heart. 2A, Union is hosting, while Philadelphia and Clarkdale will both be on the road next week. And in two-way action, Bay Springs is going to take on Heidelberg, Sebastopol, and Scott Central are all at home in round one, while Lake will be traveling to Lloyd Star. For 3A action, Kemper County and Noxabee County will host, and Southeast Lauderdale and Enterprise will both be on the road next week. And last but not least in 4A, Newton County, West Lauderdale, Quitman, and Louisville are all home for round one of playoffs, and Northeast Lauderdale will be on the road to New Albany. I know that's a lot of information to process <laughs> quickly, so we will post a list of all these yes. matchups on our website and throughout our social media accounts after the show. Now let's take a look at the college football lineup for this week, and starting with tomorrow's game on our WTOK stations at 11 a.m., Florida State at Wake Forest, 2.30 p.m., BYU at Texas, no Quinn Ewers there, primetime, Colorado at UCLA, my TOK2 at 2 p.m., Bethune-Cookman at Grambling State at 1 p.m. on CW for the ACC matchup there, Clemson at North Carolina State. And the SEC lineup is a little slim tomorrow, but you can catch Mississippi State at Auburn on the SEC Network at 2.30 p.m., followed by Ole Miss hosting Vandy at 6.30. And Georgia and Florida, you all know where I'm going to be tomorrow <laughs> at 2.30. They're kicking off in Jacksonville on CBS. And Southern Miss Golden Eagles are at Appalachian State, and Jackson State is at Arkansas Pine Bluff. UWA will also be on the road. All right, so I think we want to talk about two games here, that 2.30 game on WTOK, Texas and BYU. NYU. Right. No Quinn Ewers for the Longhorns. It's going to be interesting to see what their backup quarterback is going to do. Steve, Steve Sarkeesian has said Arch Manning is ready to go. He's ready to go. I but think I think he they're announced. still going to go with Malik Williams uh, uh, at, to start that game, and it's going to be his his game. It's going to be it, his game. It, it, it got said all this week it was impressive that Texas was able to keep him on campus knowing that he wasn't going to be the starting quarterback exactly. behind Quinn Ewers there. It, being the third quarterback mm -hmm. at this, and Malik yeah. Murphy's going to be uh, Murphy, starting yeah. tomorrow. So, yeah. But I'm hoping we're going to see Arch. Definitely excited to see what he's going to be able to do. All right, do. second game. We all know. Georgia, all know. Florida. Georgia, Georgia, Florida. Who do you like in that game? <laughs> of course, I'm going to take the Bulldogs, obviously. But Patrick, he told me earlier that he sees a world where Florida wins. Mm -hmm. I personally don't see it. You know, the dogs don't have Brock Bowers. That's a huge loss. They're definitely going to be looking for the freshman tight end, Connor Delp, to try to help as well as Lad McConkey. Just it's really hard to replace that kind of talent in Brock Bowers. You're talking but about one of the guys who has been like if, if Caleb Williams was not in this draft, I think Brock Bowers is the number one pick. Exactly. I think he really is. So and that, that is a tough. huge difference maker. Definitely. But I, when I say I see there is a world <laughs> in which Graham Mertz wins, uh, he's just got to be as efficient as he has been all year for the Florida Gators. Exactly. But I'm, I, I, I see the world. I'm not going with that world. I've got Georgia winning by two or three touchdowns at that one. So, um, but that's a good. That's going to be a really good game. Yes, it, it is. It's I'm kind so of like I don't get mad at me for saying this. It's OU Texas Junior Varsity. <laughs> no. Like, it, like going to the Cotton Bowl where it is 50-50, and then you've got that. It, no, it, it, trust no, me. No, don't tell anyone that me. in Athens. Do not trust ever me. say that. But that's going to do it here for Week Ten of Football Friday. <laughs> a big thank you to Jax for feeding all of our Football Friday crew, and as always, thank you watching. Stay tuned for Jimmy Kimmel.